Welcome everybody to another painting episode. Today we're going to be painting the Scout Squad Kill Team. To get started, I will be priming my model with Chaos Black. Getting to step one, dry brush and base coat. We're going to be using Gravestone Blue, Cold Coarse Blue, and Red Gray. We're going to be starting with Red Gray from Pro Acryl. I'm going to be applying two coats of Red Gray to the cloth part of the model. Don't worry too much about overpainting in this step. Uh, if you messed up, it's a very easy fix. Just grab a black paint and just paint over your mistake. Now that we're done with our base coat, we're going to be dry brushing with Cold Corpse Blue from Two Thin Coats. We're not dry brushing the whole armor, we're just dry brushing the parts where we think the light is going to hit from the direction we want the model to be viewed at. In my last painting video, somebody mentioned texture palette for dry brushing to reduce the chalkiness. I'm technically doing the same thing just with extra step. I'm wiping part of the paint off on my towel and then I'm controlling the moisture of the brush with my hand. But I actually have a texture palette that I made a while back. Um, if I can find it, um, I'll probably use it for the next video just so people can see. Uh, force of habit, I'm probably still gonna control the moisture of my brush through my hand. As you can see, I'm just dry brushing everything that's not cloth and that's not gonna be metallic. And don't worry if the model is looking a little bit too blue right now because we're going to be using a dark wash later on to bring down the brightness. And I'm just going to keep going at it until um, I get the coverage that I want. Um, this is going to be a speed up video so we can go into our highlight. And now for the last part of step one, we're going to be using Gravestone Blue from Two Thinning Coats to dry brush in our highlight. In this part, I'm just focusing on the shoulder pads, the chest, the back, and the arm guards. Going into step two, we're going to be dry brushing the face and we're going to be applying wash to the model. We're going to be using black wash, brown wash, dust bowl, elven skin, and flesh wash. Starting with black wash from Pro Acryl. For this black wash, it's pretty much straight out of the pot. Um, the only water that's being mixed in is pretty much through our wet brush and the wet palette. When you get to uh, the arm and the shoulder pads, these surfaces are really smooth. So when you first apply your wash, it's not gonna go where you want it to be. So the easiest way to move the wash around is to just add some water to your brush and then just brush the wash down into where you want it to be. And as you can see here, I'm just trying to make it so the top part is as clear as possible. And the bottom where the shadow is at is where the wash is going to be pulling. If this is your first time using washes, especially Pro Acryl, once the wash starts to dry, 
you have to leave it alone because if you try to apply more washes when it's not completely dry you risk the chance of peeling the layer of filter that you apply onto your model and you're not going to get a smooth finish Now that you're done applying the black washes to the power armor, now we're going into our cloth. Um, I'm going to use brown wash to the cloth and then I'm going to follow up with black wash once it's dry. Now that we're done applying the brown wash to the cloth, I'm going back with a watered down black wash, one part water, two part wash, and I'm pretty much going to cover the whole unit. If the wash doesn't pull where we wanted it to pull, just dip your brush in your water cup. Um, this is going to make moving the wash a lot easier. And now we're going to be using Dust Bowl from Two Thin Coats to base coat the face and the belt for our model. And now we're going to switch back to dry brushing with Elven Skin from Two Thin Coats. Um, this is going to be our halftone and our direct light. And I'm slowly building this up, making sure my brush is damped. and just slowly dry brushing and building up elven skin on the face. If you make it this far, consider liking and subscribing. And you know, I'm open to feedback. Let me know what I can do to uh, improve And now that we're done with dry brushing, we're going to use flesh wash from Pro Acryl. This is going to be watered down, one part water, two part wash. And pretty much I'm just working my way, uh, making sure the pooling is correct. Um, and then I went ahead and add some more to the back of the head. After that, uh, I wait for the wash to dry and I went in with Elven Skin from Two Thin Coats again to get a dry brush. This time I'm just focusing on 
the front of the face. Last part of this step, we're gonna use Cold Corpse Blue and we're gonna be painting the hair. Now we're going into step three, the details. We're gonna be using Black Wash, Dark Silver, Dark Bronze, Wizard Gray, Mithril Blade, and Trooper White. Starting with Dark Silver, we're gonna be painting the belt, the gun, the combat knife, the backpack, the grenade, the grappling hook, the headset, And we're gonna be dry brushing the gun. The gorget. And now that that's done, we're gonna be using Wizard Gray from Pro Acryl to paint the Aquila and to paint the hair. And then we're gonna be using Trooper White from Two Thin Coat to dry brush. We're gonna dry brush the Aquila and then we're going to dry brush the hair. And we're gonna be using Dark Bronze from Pro Grill to paint the hilt of the combat knife. And for our last metallic, we're gonna be using Mithril Blade from Two Thin Coats to paint the cutting edge of the combat knife. And then we're gonna cover everything we just painted with black wash, including the belt. And last part, we're applying Trooper White to the eye and the teeth. And then for our bases, we are going to be using a dark umber from Pro Acryl. And I'm not just dry brushing the base, I'm also um, dry brushing a little bit of brown to the shoes as well. After that's done, um, I went ahead and add a little bit of orange. Uh, I didn't really clean my brush here, so it's kind of just like a mixture of orange and the umber brown. And now the Scout Squad kill team is done. Thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.